The Gecko device is easy to fit and can be applied in just 60 seconds to one or both legs as required. On the front is a location marker to correctly position the device. Plus and minus buttons to switch the device on and off and to change the stimulation levels and two LED indicator lights. On the reverse are three electrodes that make contact to the skin. Before fitting the device, first find the location where the device is to be secured. It can be found on the outside of the leg, just below the level of the knee, at the center of the fibula head. The fibula head can be felt as a round protrusion at the very top of the fibula bone. To find the fibula head, run your fingers downwards from the center of the kneecap to the tibial tuberosity, just below the kneecap. Working towards the outside of the leg, you will come first to a prominent piece of bone called the lateral condyle. Moving over the bone, continue towards the outside of the leg, and moving very slightly downwards, feel your way to the head of the fibula bone. It can be felt as a much larger and more rounded protrusion in comparison to the lateral condyle. Alternatively, locate the fibula head by placing your fingers on the ankle bone on the outside of the leg and in the groove between the calf muscles and the muscles at the front of the leg, run your fingers upwards towards the knee until you feel the round protrusion at the top of the fibula bone, the fibula head. To open the pack, simply peel the two ends of the foil pouch apart. Inside, you'll find the gecko devices and an instruction leaflet. Read the instruction leaflet carefully to familiarize yourself with the warnings and precautions and only use the device as instructed. Using warm water, wash the area where the device is to be fitted, removing moisturizer if present, and pat dry gently. For best results, using trimmers or clippers, remove any excess hair. Avoid shaving as this can damage the skin and increase the risk of irritation. After 15 seconds, with the device switched off, peel off the protective film from the long end first. Secure the device to the leg so that the location marker, the line of arrows, is positioned directly over the center of the fibula head. Next, remove the protective film from the short end and secure this to the front of the leg. Correctly fitted, the branded short end is positioned to the front of the knee, with the long end wrapped around to the rear of the leg, below the crease of the knee. This will place the negative electrode over the common perineal nerve and will position the plus button to the front of the leg and the minus button to the rear, whichever leg the device is applied to. Repeat these steps when fitting the device on the other leg, if required. Once in position, use a short press of the plus button, 0.5 seconds, to activate the device. The device will start once the button is released, and further short presses to set the appropriate level of stimulation. The correct level is reached when there is a discernible movement of the muscles in the lower leg, moving the foot outwards and upwards slightly. To accommodate any variation in stimulus due to leg position changes, simply turn the setting up or down. There are 11 stimulation levels in the Gecko device. The settings are indicated by the number of flashes in sequence from the LED lights while the device is in operation. In most cases, levels 4 or 5 are ideal. To reduce the levels one by one, use a short press, 0.5 seconds of the minus button. Check the patient again soon after fitting the device to ensure that the Gecko is still giving a comfortable and effective level of stimulation and readjust the level if necessary. To turn off the device completely, hold the minus button down for 3 to 4 seconds. Note that when the button is pressed, the LED will flash rapidly to confirm its deactivation. To remove the gecko, gently lift the long end of the device, taking care to peel the adhesive gel off the skin along with the device. Lift the device away from the leg progressively without bending it double. This will preserve the device and prevent damage to the skin. If the primary location does not produce movement of the muscles, stimulation may be achieved using the alternative fitting locations, slightly above or below the crease at the back of the knee, with the location marker aligned to the outer lateral collateral tendon. See geckodevices.com for further details. For VTE prevention, fit the gecko device to both legs. For the treatment and prevention of edema, fit the gecko device to the affected leg. This ultrasound measurement shows blood volume and velocity at baseline and with the gecko device switched on. 